guys they just <laughs> i guess unusually released or leaked or whatever you want to call it the version 2.3 banners for both albedo as well as eula holy they both have the same four stars being bennett being noel being rosaria these are really freaking good banners because well we know the five stars are there but bennett is incredible and rosaria is also pretty insane for that support this is actually pretty big because this shows us that you know if they release two banners at the same time they're always going to be the same four star characters for both and <laughs> oh my god they released everything so uh, I already covered this in, uh, on Twitter uh, as well as this, but um, I don't think they meant to actually release it like this because Twitter usually is the place or, you know, where you find all the information in which you can see the banners. <laughs> and they just showed us Eula's and Albedo's right here. That's insane. So um, it ends on the 14th of December. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, and the weapon banner. This is actually a surprise for me. So you've got... Wow, is this the... I think these are the monster weapons. The wine and song. As well as the... Uh, I forgot, the hunter? Something hunter. Uh, you got the dragon's bane. You got sacrificial greatsword. Lion's war. As well as freedom sworn and song of the broken pines. So, song of the broken pines, I'm not very surprised about. But the freedom sworn, I wonder why it's there. Maybe because these two are pretty much, you know, from the same set, I guess. And uh, you can also get some crowns here. That's how you get the weapon. Um, all the event stuff. Oh, we got the hangouts as well. I forgot about that completely. The battle pass looking the same. But yeah, <laughs> guys, these are official. We've got Eula, Bennett, Noel, and Rosaria. So... Eula actually is an incredible character that I still use all the time. I talk about her over and over and over again. She's an incredible five-star character. If you don't want to miss out on her banner realistically because, well, Bennett is also on that banner. Bennett has to be one of the most broken characters in Genshin because of his support capabilities being increasing your attack from his base attack as well as his healing capability as well incredible support one of the best characters in the game for sure and uh, you want to get his constellation to c1 at least to get this insane buff obviously getting c5 is where you want to be but he won incredible absolutely insane and uh yeah for uh noel i personally don't really enjoy playing noel that much in the beginning of the game i really did because she had like a cool massive sword deals damage but she was geo at the time and i didn't really know what to do with it and uh but maybe i should try building her let me know in the comment section down below um, i might actually do it um i have her at constellation three so maybe this is my chance to get her up there as well but i really don't look forward to actually summoning on this banner because i want to save for ito but it look it looks really hard guys i'm not gonna lie so rosaria on my main account i actually don't use but on my free-to-play account, I actually use Rosaria. She's 80 out of 80. And I use a Favonius Lance on her. Or um, a White Tassel, actually. To get that extra crit rate that I need from her. She's absolutely amazing. She gives crit rate to everyone on your team. And um, I don't... Like, her constellations, you don't really need them that much. Because, you know, it just helps you deal more damage. Um, I personally don't think it's that important. As long as you have her C0, she's going to do absolute wonders for you and uh yeah uh, if you have her night time she's actually can help you move a little quicker these characters are amazing and i definitely think this banner is worth summoning on however um obviously i would say look at the five star characters if you're going to consider summoning on these banners uh but yeah uh, pretty insane stuff these are good banners and this will also sort of lay way to the future banners on how they will look like if they're going to be releasing two characters at the same time i find that pretty interesting and uh yeah so the weapon banner this is a good weapon banner for those of you who want eula and eula only uh freedom sworn is very situational for example, maybe a weird Bennett build where you use his element of master for vaporize, but I don't know. It's mostly used for Kazuha, so I don't know exactly what you want to do with an elemental mastery sword. 
And uh, yeah, a Song of Broken Pine is only used for Eula as well. This is an interesting banner. I wouldn't say this is one of the best in the game. Because currently, the one that we have right now with the Staff of Homa, that's the, like, for sure the best weapon banner we've had. Staff of Homa, the Elegy, Wavebreaker Spin, all these really, really good weapons. So yeah, that's going to conclude it. <laughs> that was insane. Uh, these character lineups are incredible, and I cannot wait for you guys to see both Albedo and Eula in Genshin Impact very soon thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy consider liking this video subscribing to the channel as well see you guys in the next video very soon bye bye